Am I the asshole? For refusing to be paired up with the Down Syndrome kid? I'm 16 F and I am in a special class in my high school for special needs students. It's not purely for disabled kids, but mostly for people 16-20 who had drug or mental health problems that led them to dropping out of school. There's one kid in the class Daniel 17 meters and he has Down syndrome. I have an autoimmune condition that makes me miss a lot of school because I'm in hospital, and I use a cane or a walker. Our class coordinator Brenda likes to get us to do different activities during the day because our classes are structured differently from the rest of the school. Mostly trying to get us to socialize by doing activities like board games or helping out in the school canteen. Daniel and I are the only two physically disabled students in the class and because of this we keep getting paired up. I hate it. He's really rude to me and will do stuff like take my cane and give it to his other friends because he thinks it's funny. I've told Brenda that he won't quit harassing me and I don't want to be left alone with him, but she just tells me I'm being prejudiced against his condition and lying about it because he has downs and not a mean bone in his body. I'm now refusing to do anything with him and walked out of the kitchen when we were both rostered. Am I the asshole? For this? Everyone keeps saying that people with Downs don't know how to be mean so I don't know if this is actually discriminatory. People with Downs definitely know how to be mean. Not the asshole. Can't your parents help you out? Have you gone to the principal about it? Obviously Brenda isn't taking your concerns, so go above her. Power trip Brenda has a boss, you know. Edit for judgment not the asshole. Not the asshole. People who say that someone with Down's syndrome can't be mean are being straight up ableist. If bringing it up to Brenda doesn't do anything, then I would escalate this. Not the asshole and your teacher shouldn't work in special needs if she thinks any kind of diversity gives superpowers. Obviously Down syndrome people can be assholes. They're people. Up video him being mean to you and show it to Brenda. She is being ableist as anyone can be mean. Not the asshole, even if he is unable to understand that what he is doing is wrong, it doesn't change the fact that it is bad behavior. My sibling worked with a group that assisted people with disabilities and was sexually harassed by someone with Down syndrome. She was constantly told that he was just unaware of what he was doing, but it was mentioned that it was a pattern and they refused to advise this to the volunteers who had no idea of his patterns. You don't need to be paired or forced to work with someone who is harassing you, regardless of their disability. Natar. They are being ableist for pairing you too consistently. Make a Title IX complaint about discrimination. Anyone touching your mobility aid is problematic. Make an appointment with the head of the school. Bring your parents. Have a clear and concise list of situations, with dates if possible. Document. 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 Have your parents make it clear any physical interfere with your mobility will be reported to the American with Disabilities Enforcement. I think they may take you seriously then. Good for you, standing up for yourself. Not the asshole anybody is capable of being mean. You should be able to work in peace and you aren't able to. Is there anybody else you can bring the situation up to since Brenda refuses to do anything? Not the asshole, but you need to go further than Brenda if she isn't doing shit. You're being bullied for your disability by another disabled person. Not the asshole. X200B. And will do stuff like take my cane and give it to his other friends, report him for stealing and withholding your medical device. If the shield does not act, make a police report. X200B. Stop talking to Brenda, take this to the dean or the school board. Not the asshole downs doesn't mean someone is incapable of being mean or being a bully. It's time to go over Brenda's head and complain both about his actions and Brenda's willful ignorance and blindness regarding his actions. My parents had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my principal after a teacher kept insisting upon pairing me up with another physically disabled student. He used to hit me, pull my hair, try to bite me etc. And every time I complained I was told he was too disabled to understand what he was doing. 
eventually threatening to go to the school board rectified the problem. Not the asshole. Harassment shouldn't be tolerated. 1. Not the asshole, the kids bullying you. Downs or no, still a bully. 2. If you are only physically disabled, why are you in the special class, playing board games and working in the kitchen? Surely you should be actually learning with the rest of your peers? Not the asshole you're being paired up with him to take care of him. It's a common thing to make girls babysit the boys so the teachers don't have to do their jobs. Not the asshole. It is incredibly ableist to say that people with disabilities can't be mean. They are humans, after all, and sometimes humans suck. Go above your teacher's head and speak to the office. She's dismissing you outright and that's not right. And I've met more than one person with Downs who had mean bones in their body. Bypass the teacher and go to the admins. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You're not feeling this way because of his disability. You're feeling this way because he's an R. As are not a protected class, smiley face. You're being bullied. It makes no difference whether your bully is disabled or not, mentally challenged or not, they are still a bully and you deserve protection. If your teacher won't do anything about it, get your parents or another teacher to help advocate for you at school. If that doesn't work, go to the principal. If that doesn't work, go to the district's school board and supervisor, and if that doesn't work, go to the local news. You are not the asshole. Are you in the US? I would consider contacting a lawyer. What the school is doing is illegal. Not the asshole people with Down syndrome are just people, of course they can be mean. Not the asshole. First, disability is not an excuse that allows people to be mean or rude to others. If he has difficulty behaving, then he needs to be removed from his victims. Second, document everything. Day, date, time, incident. See if there are any witnesses. Bring this to the principal. Or go to the superintendent of schools. I'm sorry that your parents aren't more of a help in this. Not the asshole. People with Downs don't know how to be mean. So the people who assume all Downs people are like each other aren't prejudiced, but you are prejudiced for accusing a particular individual with Downs of a particular misdeed. It is quite possible to, inconvenience or hurt or harm someone without meaning to do so. In his mind he's only having fun, and because he has Downs no one has had the good sense to explain to him that what he is doing isn't fun. Not the asshole. Daniel having Downs has nothing to do with the story. Daniel is T.A. He's stealing your medical equipment. It's grossly unacceptable. You're in a predicament. You can't complain to your parents, Brenda and the principal aren't addressing the problem. Honestly, at this point the next time he took my cane, I'd fake fall and pretend to be hurt. It's not a mature way to handle the problem, but you might have no other recourse. I was a little mad at first cause of the caption, ha ha. You're not the asshole, anybody can be a bully. You should complain to a higher authority.